Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. <coughs> I just cleared my throat. I think we're all getting a little bit ill these days. Have a look here. This is the Selectric Energy Savers uh, product. Six gang power cut socket with surge protection. Automatically cuts off power to devices. Now these have been around for a while. And when I saw this on Amazon, I thought, yeah, this could solve an issue I've been having. And this one in particular, because it has a feature that allows you to set the minimum current. So I'll let you know a little bit about my setup. I basically got a PC hooked up with three monitors and some active speakers and all sorts of things. And I would like basically everything to shut down, all the speakers, all of everything and all the monitors when it's not in use. And I say when it's not in use, it's always turned on. It's always doing something like rendering or whatever, but the monitors and everything else don't need to be on and sitting there in standby. So this looked like it could have uh, solved the problem because it has here a minimum current for the master socket. So anything plugged into the master socket will uh, activate potentially the other sockets when it activates. When a monitor goes on, it'll activate. The problem is most modern electronics in standby use up too much current. So there's a lot of issues with these and uh, it's reported they don't work very well. However, this one has an adjustment on it. And if you see here, boom, you can adjust it right down from 8 watts to 80 watts of consumption. So you should be able to do it that even your main monitor doesn't have to be on or off. It can just be in standby. So you know when your PC shuts the monitors down, that could work a treat. Um, I was kind of hoping to get into this. It's using a tri-winged bit, which is very similar, of course, to our Nintendo bits that we're used to using. Oh, and it does work. Awesome. So I think we'll have a quick quick look. It says here, June 10 pass. This is a 10 year old new inbox gadget. And I'm wondering why they're not more popular because you think with uh, this day and age, people trying to conserve electricity, that would be a good thing. Or is it just maybe that since 2010, more devices have become smart and they're all on standby. So you don't really want them shutting down because the last thing you want is your fire stick and all of that lot, Chromecast to reboot every time you plug in your telly. So maybe it's to do with that. But I'm sure there's still some use cases, um, probably to do with maybe gaming rigs like mine. Um, but yeah, comments down below why you think uh, they're not really caught on. Um, I'm quite glad though this screwdriver bit works quite well in them. I didn't expect it because it's a, it's a different size. So I'm just going to use a magnet to pop them out all the screws. Oh, so useful magnets, aren't they? Where would we be without magnets? To be honest, there's so many things that wouldn't be without them. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around, the right, right way round. It does have a manual with it, but I'm not going to bother going into that because I would never read it, you'd never read it. We would just try this thing and adjust it. So, it looks like we do have a reasonably decent bus bar and we do have socket shutter protection, so that's nice. The bus bar um, is a solid bus bar that's obviously pressed and bent, so I don't see any issues with that. Um, ultrasonically welded, live and neutral wires and earth, so that's all good. And then we'll have a look here to see how it operates. It's not a, like, um, a triac or anything, it's just a regular relay. We have a suppression capacitor and it looks like a uh, one of those transient suppression ones. So this is potentially a surge protector as well um, until that capacitor destroys itself. You have a neon here and a few peripheral components and just a regular, look, a nice regular switch here, which I say switch, adjustment pot, um, which was set kind of on the high side, so it's set nearly on the AT more on the 85 watts than the 8 watts, but that, that's it really. Um, I could plug it in. <laughs> I don't think I will just yet though. I think we'll put the lid back on it first. You'll notice it's very dark. That's because I have the lights. These are my bench lights and they're currently hooked up to one of the slave sockets here. In the master socket, I have my soldering iron and I've currently got it set to 80 watts. That's like the maximum. So I'm gonna turn on the soldering iron Ding, there you go, the lights come on. That's actually pretty cool. I think that could be a use case actually for a bench. Now I'm gonna do a, a setting here. It's the heater's obviously on. Um, I'm going to actually wind it down to 
basically its minimum setting to see if it's going to shut down. Oh, its minimum is 160, but that's fine. It's at 80, 90, 100, 130, 140. It might just be starting to think about turning its heat off now. And its heat is off, but I think it's clearly still consuming more than the 80 watts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually undo. You can't see this, but I'm unscrewing the wire to the soldering iron head, and I'm just going to pop that out. Nope, doesn't make any difference. Oh, there you go, it did. <laughs> okay, so that's that's it working on off. Um, to show it working conversely, I could put it this way. So as you can see, there's a, an LED here, an indicator. I'm going to put this light on there. Right. And again, that's on the 80 watt thing, so it seems a little bit sensitive, but you can see here, I turn on the LED lights, it comes on, and that light, that blue light actually comes on to tell you that the power strip is on. Now I'm just going to wind it down, right down to Chinatown, so it's down to 8 watts. And the weird thing is, I don't think I'm seeing that blue light come on. No, so I'm wondering if this is the wrong way around. Maybe this adjuster, that's set to the 80 watts, and the more you, yes, you can hear that. So I think the minimum is that direction and the maximum is that direction, which is what they have here. It just seems the wrong way around if you're used to it being like a clock face. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty, very pleased. I'm very pleased with this. Uh, it's definitely gonna work out for me. If you uh, have the uh, need for such a thing, I think jump over onto eBay or Amazon or wherever you can get hold of one and try it out. It could save you a bit of electricity and basically act as a really simple home automation where you don't need all those IoT plugs necessarily for a simple use case like that. This does the job. As ever, thank you for watching.